Hi guys, this is Sweet Genesis and you're watching to my channel. Yes, welcome back po mga friendships. Narito na naman tayo sa aking new vlog. Okay, sa mga followers ko or sa mga talagang sumusubaybay sa aking mga videos or vlogs, ay meron kayong, or maaring meron kayong napapansin na kakaiba sa aking mukha. Yes, that's true po. Dahil, um, a few hours after the delivery, nagkaroon po ako ng Bell's Palsy. Nung nakita ko na na merong kakaiba sa aking mukha, I reported immediately sa nurse doon and they called the uh, neurologist and confirmed nga na Bell's Palsy. So, I'm thankful na rin kasi mas mas okay na rin yun kesa sa stroke kasi kung titignan mo parang almost may pagkasimilar sila dahil nga dun sa facial weakness. Um, kung ikaw ay nakakaranas ngayon or nakaranas na or meron kang mga kakilala na mayroong Bell's Palsy uh, come and stay tuned with me. Ibabahagi ko sa inyo ang aking mga naging karanasan and pag-uusapan natin kung ano ang what is Bell's Palsy what are the causes what are the risk factors? What are the symptoms and treatments? And of course, ipapakita ko rin sa inyo ang facial workout na sa tingin ko ay nakatulong para mag-improve ang aking recovery healing. And uh, yes, tara na, samahan niyo ako. Bell's Palsy What is Bell's Palsy? This is a paralysis or severe weakness of the facial muscles on one side of the face. It is believed to be due to a swelling of the nerve that controls the muscles of the face. It may develop suddenly or develop more gradually over a period of 24 to 48 hours. It can be worrying, but most people make a full recovery. What are the causes? The facial nerve or cranial nerve number 7 controls most of the muscles in the face and parts of the ear. The facial nerve goes through a narrow gap of bone from the brain to the face. If the facial nerve is inflamed, it will press against the cheekbone or may pins in the narrow gap. This can result in damage to the protective covering of the nerve. If the protective covering of the nerve becomes damaged, the signals that travel from the brain to the muscles in the face may not be transmitted properly leading to weaken or paralyzed facial muscles. The cause of Bell's palsy is not known. It is thought that it may be due to inflammation that is directed by the body's immune system. It may also result when a herpes virus inflames the nerve. Risk factors, diabetes, upper respiratory infection, migraine, pregnant women, high blood pressure, injury, toxins, Lyme disease, GBS, sarcoidosis, myasthenia gravis, and MS. My doctor gave me prednisolone and I took it for 10 days. This is to reduce the swelling of the facial nerves. This is how I look after 24 hours, 1 to 2 weeks, 1 month, and 2 months. You see the difference. Yes, after 24 hours ng pagkakaroon ko ng Bell's Palsy, nakaramdam na ako ng pamamanhit sa aking affected side. Yung right eyebrow ko, hindi na siya maitaas. And yung pagkluklose ko ng mata ko, hindi na siya yung sumasabay sa left side ko. Tapos, oh, nagkakaroon na ako ng dryness sa mata. Kaya, uh, nag-recommend sila sa akin ng eye drops. And of course, sa gabi, uh, they advise me to use eye patch para maiwasan din ang dryness and of course, protection na rin. And kapag lumalabas kayo, uh, pag meron kang best passive, pag lumalabas kayo, always wear a protective uh, sunglass para na rin hindi, hindi kayo malagyan ng mga kung ano-anong mga small particles, diba? Um, you have to protect your eye. Napaka-importante yun. Tapos, yun nga, nagkaroon na rin ako ng as in talagang pagbagsak. Super sad nga yung itsura ko. Pero, honestly, I didn't feel um, ugly. I didn't feel unattractive. Hindi rin ako nakaramdam ng depression Hindi rin ako nakaramdam na hopeless na. Wala ng pag-asa, ganun. 
Uh, that is because I have God. I believe in God na gagaling talaga ako and and ang Bell's palsy is temporary. Temporary lamang para sa akin. And uh, I have my family and friends who are very supportive. Uh, talagang pinapakita nila sa akin na yung pagmamahal nila sa akin. Tapos lagi nilang sinasabi na babalik din yan. Huwag kang mag-alala. So, yun. Um, masaya ako kasi may mga taong ganun. The only problem that I had is yung nagkaroon ako ng pain sa right jaw ko. During my first uh, first week to two weeks, talagang umatake yung pain ko dito sa right jaw. Yung every morning kapag gumigising ako, naiiyak ako. Tapos irritable ako dahil sa pain na nararamdaman ko. What I did is, nag-apply lang ako ng oil. You can use lavender uh, essential oils or uh, actually, I tried Evicacin oil and it helps. But you have to ask your doctor kung okay na gamitin ninyo yun. And uh, kapag uh, nakakarinig din ako ng loud noises, naiirita ako. Uh, parang dumudoblet, tum nagiging triple yung pandinig ko. Tapos yung sense of taste ko nag-decrease din. Uh, pag kumakain ako, kahit na may lasa para sa mga kasama, kasama ko na kumakain. But for me, parang walang lasa. As in, ganun talaga yung naging pakiramdam ko. But later on, uh, as I improve, nagiging okay na rin yung panlasa ko. Tapos uh, I had a check up sa EENT. I think, yes, twice or thrice. And I think, oh, yeah, yes, twice pala. Yun, sinabi nila na okay naman na daw yung aking pandinig. And thank God nga dahil in a short period of time, nakikita ko na yung recovery ko is for me, mabilis talaga yun. Ipabahagi ko din sa inyo ang mga facial workout na ginawa ko at ginagawa ko pa rin until now na sa tingin ko ay talagang naka-help naka sa pag-improve ng aking healing recovery. And napaka-importante din na mag-seek kayo ng physical therapist para may maibigay pa sila sa inyo ng mga exercises na pwede ninyong gawin sa bahay ninyo. And of course, meron din nag-advise sa akin na uh, you can chew a gum. Pero meron akong nabasa lately lang sa vlog. But actually, ginawa ko yun. Um, nakatulong naman siya, pero um, not all the time na nag-chew talaga ako ng gum. I will show you some facial exercises na madalas kong ginagawa. But first, sit relax in front of a mirror. In here, I am facing the camera just to show you the exercises. Gently raise the eyebrows using the fingers to help if needed. You can do this until 5 times. Pull the eyebrows together and frown. You can also do this 5 times. And remember, do not overstimulate the facial muscles. Wrinkle the nose. If you can't do it, try to use your one finger and then stretch the other side. Breathe in deeply and flare the nostrils. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Try to move the corners of the mouth outward. Side by side. Puffing the cheeks. Fill up some air and blow it. You can also do this five times. Pull one side of the mouth up, then the other to form a smile. If you use your fingers, see if you can keep the smile after removing them. Try to open your mouth as wide as you can, like a big ah, uh, and like you're yawning. Ah, o, e. Repeat it few times. Push your tongue forward, and you can repeat it few times. Touch the tip of the tongue to the corner of the mouth. You can also use a facial moisturizer 
when doing facial massage. When doing a facial massage, always remember that you have to do it gently. Massage your face in a circular motion and there are some benefits of massaging your face. Increase in blood circulation, removal of toxins, reduction of inflammation, it helps in muscle relaxation, it activates the nerves, and it re-educates the muscles. Keeping the head still, look down with your eyes only. Keeping the head still, look side by side. Place one index finger gently over one eyelid to hold it close. Do this on the affected side. Gently close and press your eyes. You can do this a few times. Kung gusto niyo talaga na mapabilis ang healing recovery ninyo, ay lagi niyong sundin kung ano ang sinabi ng inyong physical therapist at saka mga specialist ninyo. And of course, always pray to God and believe na gagaling kayo. And of course, um, laging tandaan na kailangan niyo talaga mag -rest. and always keep in mind that health is wealth. Again, thank you for watching and muli ninyo akong samahan sa mga susunod kong mga vlogs and I hope na uh, sa paraang ito ay makatulong rin kahit papano na naibahagi ko sa inyo ang aking mga naging karanasan at ang aking mga uh, ginagawa na mga munting facial exercises. And again, God bless you all and always remember, sweet Genesis loves you always. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye!